Julianne Huff dressed as Crazy Eyes from Orange is the New Black for Halloween, and she got a little bit of criticism for it. I wonder why. Let's take a quick look at the picture. You know what? Uh, the, so, obviously, she did it in blackface. Uh, already on the Young Turks, we have clearly explained to the American people that uh, many Halloween costumes uh, that normally would be outrageous are acceptable on Halloween, but there are very few that are on the uh, uh, ban list and blackface is among them. Mm -hmm. So she crossed a line that was really far out there to begin with. We're going to give you a lot of room to roam, but you went too far. I like how TYT is regulated on this for the whole country, mm -hmm. and apparently she didn't get the memo. Uh, but to be fair to her, she did look like Crazy Eyes. Like, that was a pretty good costume. Uh, Except for the blackface part, which is totally um, offensive. She nailed it with the hair. Um, she nailed it with the costume. I will say that... I'm against it, okay? I'm against the black face. Don't, don't misinterpret uh, what I'm about to say. But she looks more bronze face. Like, I feel like, okay, <laughs> she, so here's She looks my like a cross between that character and John Boehner. No, she, she looks like John Boehner and or the mom that was obsessed with tanning. Yeah. Right? And, and by the way, to be clear, we do allow uh, tan face if you're doing a John Boehner costume. <laughs> Okay, but it's really it's really on the edge. Just be careful. Yeah, or okay. just put a pumpkin, a hollowed out pumpkin <laughs> on top of your head. Okay, uh, but the one thing that I'm going to speculate about, and I'm being absolutely clear that this is just speculation, so take it with a grain of salt. I don't think that Julianne Huff is that stupid. I think that she knew that that's controversial. I think she knew that that would offend people. How many times? Every single Halloween, there are stories like this, and people still do it. They can't be that oblivious. Am I crazy for thinking that? You know, that's interesting. I hadn't thought of that. Maybe color me naive, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, naive is the new black. Because um, <laughs> these people are in for the publicity, and publicity makes a giant difference to them. But I think a lot of people still have not gotten that memo. How do you not know that blackface is offensive? What right. country do you live in? That's no, I, unbelievable. I'm, I'm to telling me. you, I, she's, I think she's, she's 25. I bet you a lot of people don't know. Now, look, there's a reason for it. If you don't know, it's how, you know, uh, why people made fun of blacks in the past. It's, there's a deep history of racism associated with uh, blackface. So, like, if you just, if you didn't grow up in that context, you're like, why? What's the big deal? So she painted her face black and she's, you know, doing that black character. No, no, no. If you, the context matters and it is a big deal, right? It's like saying, I'm in a yellow star. What's that a big deal about it? So I put it on his jacket. No, there's a history behind it that makes it a big deal, right? Yeah, it's like, so, it, it kind of reminds me of the UCLA girl who was making fun of Asians in the library. Like, it's it's on that level. It's making fun of an entire race, right? right. Imagine if someone was wearing a geisha costume or whatever and then went around, you know, stretching their eyes. That's offensive. Yeah, ge geisha costumes might be, you know, you could have a different, I, I don't think geisha costumes are a big deal. But if you go around like the UCLA girl and like start saying ching chong ling long and doing this with the eyes, yeah. you've crossed the line, right? It's just, to me, it's common sense. But it's possible that she didn't know it was being offensive, that she was actually doing an homage to that actress who she says she respects, etc. Yeah, so she did apologize. Uh, so I want to read you her apology and be fair in this report. She says, I am a huge fan of the show Orange is the New Black, actress Uzo Aduba, and the character she has created. It certainly was never my intention to be disrespectful or demeaning to anyone in any way. I realize my costume hurt and offended people, and I truly apologize. Look, here's how she could have done the costume and it would have been perfectly fine. In fact, it would have been a really good costume. Just don't do the blackface. Exactly. Like, like so this, keep everything else the same. Like, Louis C.K., in, in his show, he cast a black woman as his wife. Even though in real life his wife was not black, and his kids in the show are not biracial, they're like the blondest kids you've ever seen, <laughs> right? And he's like, oh, I felt like it. She read well for that part, so I gave it to her. Nice. Okay. So, like, he understands that the uh, audience is adults and that they're not going to be like, Wha what is going on? My brain cannot comprehend it. So, just be, the be that character in that, with, but you're white. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do the hair the same way, do the outfit the same way. It's cool. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I once played a, a black person on Halloween myself, mm -hmm. and I did it without the blackface. You know Good how job. I did it? It was a very clever outfit. I, I was playing Long Dong Silver, uh, that, but it was political, mm -hmm. okay? He's a famous porn star, and he had come up during the Clarence Thomas hearings. And since I was a political dork even back then, I was like, oh, that's cool. He came up during the hearings. So I stuck a wiffle ball bat in my pants. Oh, my God. Okay? And I was Long Dong Silver. That's all see, you did. That's the classy way to do it. Super classy. <laughs>